Now, 7 Weather with meteorologist Vivian Gonzalez. So far, so good. Waking up to bright sunshine and warm temperatures. It's already 80 degrees in Pompano, 78 in Miami, Key West, Fort Lauderdale. With the winds out of the south southeast to draw up the humidity to 68%. And these winds will be lighter today, 6 to 10 miles per hour. And the radar showing mostly dry weather conditions and will stay mostly dry today outside of a spotty shower around the middle and lower Florida Keys. So as we warm up, moisture starts to increase in the air and that will allow for the sea breeze to jumpstart some showers and storms that should favor interior areas. So it'll overall seem dry today. Tomorrow, the opposite takes place. A front approaches and there's going to be a little disturbance riding along that front. So we're going to have more fuel to see showers and storms, but favoring the metro and coastal areas. So the chance for rain goes up to a 50%, 40% heading into Friday. As long as that front continues to linger, there will be enough moisture for us to see daily rains throughout the latter portion of the day. It's not going to be a washout, but models are trending on the wetter side. One to three inches of rain, mainly around interior areas possible, less than three inches around the metro and coastal areas during the next couple of days. We have no boating advisories in effect. Southeast winds five to 10 knots. Seas building up to two feet. Biscayne Bay light chop. Florida Keys becoming smooth. Looking pretty good today, I should say. And the next high tide for Key West at 908 this evening. So for today, we'll have in and out uh, clouds. Plenty of sunshine. Forecast high in Miami 87, 85 in Fort Lauderdale with overnight lows in the low to mid 70s and clearing clouds. Your extended outlook has a storm a chance in place for our Thursday. So start having the umbrellas with you just in case by Friday. It'll be wet in spots. Temperatures cool off a bit back to seasonable values heading into the weekend with the chance remaining in place should be nicer and much drier early next week. And that's your seven on seven forecast.